What's going on guys? How's it going? Hey, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a short video review on a product I purchased from Adams Polish Company. I, I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever. Paid full price for this item, just in case anyone's wondering. And I remember, well, the item we're talking about right now that I purchased was Adams Polish's Foam Cannon. Um, so the foam cannon is used. It's attached to a uh, water pressure machine and uh, pressure washer. And you use that to clean your car. It's supposed to suds up your car really good. It's supposed to be a hands-free wash with this product. So we're going to be trying it out today on my car. My car is pretty dirty, so we'll be able to tell um, if the product's any good. You know, Because I know when I was looking at buying this product... Um, I was looking all over YouTube, see people's reviews on it, and I don't know, they seemed uh, a little biased, you know. Uh, maybe they got uh, some sort of deal on the product, and I didn't know if I could really uh, trust their words. So I'm going to give you guys a full review um, on this product, and we'll see if you guys like it. Alright, All right, here we go. Alright, so this is my car right here. From far away, she doesn't look that bad. But when you get close, oh man, she is dirty. Yeah, she's dirty all over. It's been about two three weeks since I've washed this car got some bird poop can't see I gotta get that off wheels are dirty look at this look at this mmm terribly dirty <sighs> so there's a cars and coffee early tomorrow morning I was going to try to make it to it. I'm going anyway, whether the car's dirty or not. But uh, we're going to give this product a try. And uh, I'll let you guys decide if you like it or not. So let's go take a look. All right, so right here. This is my little pressure washer. Got it from Harbor Freight. It was like 60 bucks, 70 bucks, something like that. They had it on sale. Uh, from Portland, nothing too fancy. You know, it does uh, 1750 PSI, and you plug it in, all that, nothing fancy. That's the attachment. Here's what I'm talking about. So if you go to adamspolish.com, uh, uh, you'll find this product on there. It's like 75 bucks or something like that. And there's always like a, a delay on it, you know, almost always sold out. There's a lot of people buying this thing and for as much as it costs and for as much as people are buying it for you don't really uh, see too many reviews on it so I'm gonna let you guys know show you how it works and uh, see if you guys think it's worth the money because there's a lot of other companies that are making their own uh, versions of this pressure washer type phone cannon and yeah, they might be cheaper, so you might want to go with theirs, or you might stick with this one, depending on uh, how it turns out after we wash it. Wash the car, I mean. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and get the whole thing set up. I'm going to wash the car down with some water, and then we'll foam up. Oh, and also, when you buy this, it comes with this very tiny bottle of car shampoo from Adam's Polish. It's supposed to be pH balanced and, you know safe in the sun even if it dries out and yeah it's supposed to be really good so we'll see that little bottle comes with it but the the big refill tanks here let me see if i can find one don't mind the mess i have way too much stuff for this tiny garage This one right here, this gigantic car shampoo, this will last me all year. Um, this was like, I don't know, 20 bucks. 
I'll have to double check that, but I'm pretty sure it's 20 bucks for this big one. So I figured since I was buying that, I might as well just splurge and get the big uh, refill car shampoo just so I could, you know, keep using the product. All right. So I'm going to put you guys on the stand while I'll set everything up and suds down the car. We'll wash off the car and then I'll suds it down. Got the car all watered down. She's still very dirty. Mm, got maybe like 30 minutes of light left. And she's still dirty. You can't tell as much because she's wet now. But she's still very dirty. Alright. So I'm going to go ahead and attach the power washer attachment. Uh to the Adams Polish foam cannon and we'll see how that goes. Suds come out pretty good. I like how much foam comes out, but I feel like it goes through the bottle way too fast. I had a full bottle. Yeah, I kind of got this car dirty. Well, clean. I got it clean. And because the car shampoo is supposed to be pH balance, it's uh, safe to leave on there. So even if it dries in the hot sun, not that it's hot today or anything, even if it dries in the hot sun, it's supposed to be safe, but uh, I don't know if you could believe that. So I'm gonna let it sit for like uh, two, three minutes and then I'm gonna wash it off and see how it comes out. All right, we let the soap sit for about five minutes. Uh, let's go ahead and hit it. Make sure this is good. All right. Bruh. All right, doing this one hand it sucks, but we'll we'll get through it. All right, 
washed off all the soap. I know I was just kind of all over the place, kind of running out of sun, but <clears throat> yeah, not too bad. All right, let's take a look. Dang, still got some soap there. I'll hit that in a bit. Now I do have to dry the car off, but you can see compared to earlier, it's gotten most of the dirt and dust off. Now, is it the cleanest wash? No. Normally, you'd do this and then hit it with a soft sponge and kind of wipe everything down. Hit it again with water and then just kind of dry the whole car off. But, you know, this is not a car wash video. I just wanted to review the product just to see if anyone wanted, you know, anyone interested in buying that Adams Polish, you know, so they could see how the product works. I mean, it's no dirt. Did a pretty good job. Pretty good job. I like it. Is it worth the $75 for it? I'll let you guys decide that. I'm not unhappy with my purchase. I mean, let's be real. I'm pretty lazy. You know, unless I have to do something, I won't actually do it. So washing the cars is just something I dread doing, especially when it's cold out or if I don't have that much time. But nobody wants a dirty car. So if you're anywhere like me, you know, you just kind of want something quick and fast, hook this bad boy up, hit the car up, lather it, wash it off again, and you're, you're done. You know, then dry off the car. You know, get some towels or microfiber towels and whatnot, whatnot and wash it off. Now I think it came up pretty good. All right, there you have it, guys. I mean, wasn't the best car wash job ever. All right, don't. I'm sure I'm going to hear it in the comments. Oh, you suck at washing your car, this and that. That wasn't the point of the video. The point of the video was to see if the Adams Polish uh, foam cannon can get your car clean by itself because it's supposed to be a touchless wash you know so is it a touchless wash i think it is i think it's pretty good i mean could i go over it with my own uh, microfiber towels and lather it down and all this other stuff and make it a better job yeah i can but can it do the job on its own yes yes i think it can um you know it costs 75 dollars on their site um i think it's an okay deal i think the price is a little too steep I know um, the chemical guys have something similar for like 40 bucks. Uh, that's also a power wash one because I know some companies do the one where it attaches to the hose. I don't think the hose has the power to uh, get a good foam, a good lather in. So as you can tell from the video, the lather is pretty good. I mean, it does go through the product pretty fast, but you only put like uh, two, three ounces of the concentrated fluid and then the rest of it's like warm water. So I think it's pretty good for the price. Uh, I'll keep using it, and it, it works for me. So let me know what you, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And if uh, you liked the video, uh, you could go ahead and subscribe if you like. That'd be great. Uh, keep watching uh, content like this. this. Is my first video product review. Um, obviously, it's car oriented. This page is about you know me and my 300 ZX, but. There's going to be some other car oriented stuff on this page and those of you who follow me specifically for the 300 zx i got a couple more videos coming up on that um i'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around and show you what i'm talking about all right those of you guys that watch this channel or subscribe to this channel specifically for the 300 zx i know i haven't made a video in about uh three weeks or so i'm still waiting on a whole bunch of things to happen and i'm super busy in school with clinicals i feel like i'm at school every day and if i'm not at school i'm here home sleep you know in the 
car's running a little funky, but we'll go over that in uh, one of the future videos. But some of you might notice that the headlights on the car are different. So I'm gonna do a video here coming up, a full in-depth review on the headlights. And you can see how different they are if you watch my previous videos. And this might be a bold statement, but I don't think there's anyone else out there with headlights like these on the 300ZX. And you'll see in the video when I go through the breakdown and kind of show all the features of the headlights, you'll see what I mean. Because um, I know most of you out there will be like, oh, they're just, you know, regular 300ZX headlights. Wrong. They are not. Take a look at these headlights, keep the image in your head, and I'm going to walk over to my daily. And my daily is not a daily right now because it has a flat and the tow truck messed up my front bumper, but same car. This one's actually a year older, but that's it. Look at the headlights. Completely different. So I'll go over that in one of my next videos, all right? Thanks for watching, guys. And if you like what you see, go ahead and... Uh, Subscribe, give me a comment what you think about the product, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks.